So one of the many problems uh, people have when using AirTag and Apple Find My is uh, there are a lot of security. Uh, for example, this one has um, could not continue. If you just say could not continue, an unknown error occurred, please try again in a few minutes. And if the problem persists, you may need to contact the manufacturer. But here's the thing. Apple knows the problem. The system knows the problem. They just don't want to tell you. And this is a part of something I call Apple Fuzzy Logic. Intelligence and structures behind all of these error messages. And of course, they know. The system knows. It just doesn't tell you. And the reason for that is Apple want to protect themselves from deliberate hacking, deliberate system circumventions. So you, it takes time and effort to kind of reverse engineer these kind of errors. Um, this error in particular is pretty easy. And when it comes to Apple Find My, they use a lot of features around the Apple iOS to make sure you have the latest system update. So in this case, for example, there are uh, three things you really need to make sure you have. The first thing is you need to have the latest Apple iOS, especially if the update is already identified in the system. Uh, you have to update that first, uh, otherwise you cannot continue. You also need to have a pin code associated with the, I, the, the device itself. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's an iPhone or iPad or whatever, you need to have a device pin code or a password. Um, and you also need to have 2FA, but that is not an issue because today you need to have 2FA automatic. So these are the three things. So one, you need to have 2FA, which is uh, not a problem today. You need to have the latest iOS if it is notified in the system settings. And you need to have a passcode uh, for the system. So if you have that, you will not have this error. It can be annoying, you know, they know the error, they just won't tell you.